Hi, everybody. Welcome to our first Talk to Georgian live chat here on Instagram. Um, like I'm sure many of you guys are watching home at home. Um, thanks for tuning in. We are also broadcasting live from our home. So welcome. Uh, my name is Jenny Thompson. I'm the social media specialist here at Georgian College, and I'm going to be joined today by uh, Kaylee Hawkins, who is one of our fabulous student recruiters here on our team at Georgian. Um, she's going to be taking all your questions, so please feel free to uh, post your comments and questions in the box below, and we will do our best to answer. So if you're interested in uh, college, if you have questions about um, Georgian, uh, if you know you want to know how to apply for free or learn more about our student services, or even if you're a current student who's looking um, for more information on how to continue your studies, we will do our best to answer your questions. Great. Uh, so let's say hello to Kaylee. All right. So yeah, so just uh, enter your comments and questions below. And yes, hello, Kaylee. Welcome. Hey, Jenny. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Good. How are you? Doing okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I thought we could start off by, uh, if you could just tell us a little bit about what you do and what the student recruitment team does to let sure. you know. Sure. So I'm a student recruitment officer. I live and work in Owen Sound, uh, but I serve all seven campuses and all 130 programs that we have at Georgian. And what I do is, is help get people answers. Um, sometimes usually I meet with people in person, um, but of course not right now. So we're we're trying something new as a way to, to get in touch with you guys and to engage and to see if we can get some answers for you. So I'm, I'm one of the people that you might talk to if you're curious about what it looks like if you want to come to college, if you've got questions about how to apply, uh, if you've got program questions, or even if you're not totally sure who you should be talking with, you can make an appointment to talk with somebody like myself. So there's, uh, there's a few of us that are fielding telephone appointments every day between the hours of 10 and 4. You can book right on our website. Um, if you go to georgiancollege.ca, it's one of the first things you'll see. It's an appointment to talk with a recruiter. And you can have 30 minutes to ask us all kinds of questions. I can't promise that we'll have all the answers for everything, but it's a good place to start. And we can certainly help to find those answers for you. Um, and as part of those phone conversations as well, we can help to cover the fee to apply to go to college, which for some people can be a bit of a barrier. So we're trying to help to eliminate barriers where we can and get information. And so what that looks like is uh, we'll actually help to go through the OCAST application with you if that's something that you're interested in. And uh, we offer you uh, an opportunity to get that $95 fee waived so that you can apply to go to college. And uh, you can talk with us along the way if you've got questions about what it looks like to be a student or any of those kinds of things. Great. Um, so if somebody does have more information, or sorry, if they want more information um, about Georgian, the best thing for them to do is just to, to contact you guys then first? The first thing to do would be to check out the website to be truthful. I mean, you can you can totally call us. That's why we're here. But the website's really co kind of awesome. We, uh, we've we worked really hard to give it all the information that, that we can think of, but always there's things that we don't think of. And that's when, uh, that's when we have a chance to kind of beef things up and get a bit more information but honestly the website's great you can search by campus you can search by academic area you can search by program you can search full-time part-time you can look for information on student services you can look for information on on financial aid and it's it's pretty easy to search but if uh if if that's not your thing or if you'd rather just talk to somebody then then right on the website and the first thing you see is an appointment to book uh book 30 minutes to talk with a recruiter Okay, great. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm going to jump into a few questions. I see there's like t tons of questions we're getting already, which is fantastic. Okay. So right. um, uh, just continue putting those in everybody. So um, I guess a lot, some people have been having questions about uh, with the COVID-19 um, issues. Some people are asking about co-op. Mm -hmm. um, is there is there any messaging that you guys are telling people right now about co-op and um, if they're having any problems? For current co-op students or for co-ops that are going to be happening in the future? Um, I guess for either. Okay. Uh, well, there is some information for current co-op students, and I think that that's going to be sent out by program coordinators as far as options that are available. Um, in short, uh, 
co-ops at this point, if I understand the messaging that I've seen recently, it's uh, we're doing what we can to accommodate if you are able to complete your co-op, if you're not able to complete your co-op, if you need to do it in a different way, then understanding the situation that we're in right now, this is as, as the, the, the language that they're using out there, unprecedented times. So they're trying to be accommodating as much as possible for individual scenarios. So I, I would recommend getting in touch with your program coordinator and talking about what options might be available for your program. Mm -hmm. And on our uh, COVID-19 page, we do have um, some uh, the latest updates about co-op. Uh, so if anybody is looking for that information, it's right on the homepage. Nice. So you can check it there on, uh, yeah, there's, there's that big use there for COVID-19 that will tell you all, all kinds of, as much information as we currently have about uh, COVID-19 and how we're dealing with these situations. And just off our homepage here, it's just right here in the center, COVID-19 updates. And this is what the page looks like here. It's broken down into different sections, including by semester. Um, and there is a page just for international students as well. So if you're looking for more information, that's a great place to start. Um, there's also more information on the student portal. Awesome. Um, cool. So, uh, and then people are also wondering about um, September intake. Um, are there the, any updates the there? The plan is, the plan is, all, all things, you know, best laid plans and all that, the plan is, is that we'll be able to be in the classroom with normal delivery for September. But of course, this is dependent on how things develop over the summer months. Um, as it stands, classes for the summer semester have been moved online for the first, uh, I think the first 10 weeks of the program. And then we're hoping to, if, if things develop to be able to move to an in-class, uh, the hands-on setting come August. And you correct me if I'm wrong there, Jenny, but I think that's what I understand based on what the structure is happening. But ideally, I, I, if, yeah, I believe it's, a t it's 12 weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I believe the hope and the plan is that by September, I mean, fingers crossed, right, that uh, the social distancing and, and the, self, the, the isolation or the physical distancing, I should say, and the isolation pieces will have paid off and we'll be able to be uh, back in classroom and, and in sessions as, as usual. But of course, these things are going to develop and, and I would encourage you to continue to check the website. That's where you're going to find most of the most current information about COVID-19 and, and what's happening at Georgian in response to that. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me, what are some of the most common questions that you guys get? On the phone appointments. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's, it's a, kind of a little bit of everything. We, we get, uh, we're having a lot of folks that are interested in retraining because employment situations have changed. So if that's you and you're thinking, oh, you know, what's next for me, then reach out. Um, we also have, just as a note, as a side note on that, we've got a great career match on our website. If you are finding yourself in a situation where you are, looking at doing something different but maybe it's been a while since you've been in school maybe it's been a while since you've thought about what kind of careers that you'd be interested in our career match is great um, just at georgian we have 130 different programs that that you can take and that's a lot of options there may be things that would be a perfect fit for you that you may not even have known existed so it only takes a few minutes to do it's going to ask you some questions about who you are and and what what kind of stuff you're into and it's going to match you with programs that might be a great fit for you as an individual and once you find that out then you can give us a call and we can talk about uh, some of the more specifics and and what that would look like and hey if you want to apply we can help you with that too that's one of the biggest questions we get um, we're getting questions specifically about you know what does it look like uh, at the college of course you can't go on a campus tour right now and that's that's something that I usually do when I'm when I'm at home here in Owen Sound I show people around my campus and all the wonderful things that we have. Um, so if that's your case and you're just, hey, you know, what does it look like inside? There's virtual tours on our website. You can take a look around and you can see some pictures of the campuses or you can feel free to call in. And I've done this actually on one of the calls, a student that had already applied and, and been accepted. And we kind of did a, an imaginary play-by-play -play of, you know, if you walked in the front doors on your left, you'd see this. And these are the services that we have in Owen Sound and, and things of that nature. And, and if that's something that you're interested in, anything we can do to help you to feel more comfortable about coming to join us in, in September or January, whenever you're planning on being here, uh, sometimes we get those calls. But essentially, it's it's really a little bit of everything. It's, it's uh, if you've got a question and you're not sure who to ask, if you're not sure, um, what's going on then then you can make an appointment and and as i say like I, I i'm not by any means an expert on on all the things but i'm a good place to start and uh i can help you out and we can connect you with the people that you might need to talk to 
Um, and I'll just add, uh, we're, we are getting quite a few um, questions now coming up about uh, deferrals and people are wondering um, if they applied to defer um, to September when they're going to hear. Um, just check your stu student email about that. Um, you should be getting an email um, that yes, you can defer to September. Um, and uh, so you should be getting some more information in your email. So make sure you check your student email for that, just to let people know. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I mean, and I guess like you were saying, Kaylee, um, you know, we are offering a lot of, uh, sorry, all the student services and everything that's just trying to make people more comfortable about, uh, the experience. Um, and all of those are still online now. The courses? Yes. Yeah, student services. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Through, um, I know that my colleagues in on sound and I know that it's happening across the other campuses. We're doing video conferencing for student services. If you've got uh, any support systems that you need or we can call you, um, we're still very much there for all of our students to be able to help them and uh, definitely continue to reach out. And especially if you're feeling you know, a little bit of pressure or unsure about what's going on with COVID-19, you need to talk to somebody, but those support systems are still in place for you to help you. And uh, yeah, absolutely reach out. Um, and if somebody is ready to apply as well, um... It, do you have any any uh, tips on how best to go about that virtually? <laughs> yeah, sure, actually. Um, if you are ready to apply, then uh, you can go on to ontariocolleges.ca. That's the governing body that looks after all of the college applications across Ontario, no matter what school that you're thinking about going to, so Georgian included. And it's a really simple form to fill out. It might take you 15 or 20 minutes to do. So if you sat down and you, you had some time to fill that out, it's going to ask you things like, where did you go to high school? Did you finish high school? Um, it's going to ask you, do you need to source transcripts from any prior learning, high school or post-secondary uh, work history, things like that. And most importantly, <laughs> where you want to apply. And, and we can help you with that if that sounds overwhelming. Or if you want, you can fill out a lot of that yourself before you call in to talk to us. And then, as I say, if, if you feel like you're ready to go and you want to pull the pin and make that application, then we can help you out with that uh, $95 OCAS fee. But just for clarity as well, I do want to say one thing. We're, we absorb the OCAS fee, the $95, which is the lion's share of uh, applying to go to college. But it is up to the applicant. If you do choose to have OCAS source uh, transcripts for you, there's usually a $10 to $15 fee per document. And unfortunately, we can't cover that piece. So just to, for clarity, it's, uh, we, we, we do most of it. And we certainly want to help you out as much as we can. But if you are doing the transcript uh, piece, you will need to have access to uh, either a major credit card or, or, or debit online to be able to cover the 10 to $15, whatever it is for the transcript sourcing. Okay, great. Um, and we are getting some questions here as well, just about uh, summer semester. Um, so I just wanted to quickly turn this camera around and just point you back to our COVID-19 page. Um, so again, it's just off georgiancollege.ca. And here's the update page there. Click here and it will get you here. If uh, in this section, if you go down to the summer semester, there's tons of information in these FAQs. Um, how do you get your textbooks? Um, when are fees due? Uh, even if you're new to online learning, we have tons of supports in place. Um, you know, a variety of different resources to check. So that's a really great place to, to look as well um, if you want to get some more information. Um, and I wanted to ask you, Kaylee, about um, uh, for current students as, as well as new students or uh, people who are interested in, in coming to Georgian, um, you guys are also a great place to, to uh, contact about continuing studies, say if they want to do another program. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, as I say, like you, you can you can call in, talk to us just about anything. We may not have all the answers instantly, but we're the place to begin. And, and I'll also say this, there are absolutely no silly questions. I've been with the college 12 years now and I've, I've heard it all. So um, just call in, just uh, give us a shout, send us an email and uh, we may not have it instantly, but we're the right place to begin and we can help to source that information for you and work with you to help get uh, from where you are to where it is that you want to go. Yeah. And we see a question here um, about uh, residence meet and greet. I'm not sure if you have any information about um, residents at this time. 
I don't, but that would be one where I would say, I'm not quite sure about that, yeah. but I can source that out <laughs> and find out that information for you. For sure. Uh, it's from uh, Rebecca. If you want to just uh, direct message Georgian, we can certainly look into that for you and get back to you with some more information. Um, and yeah, lots of interest in, in the co-ops. Um, so, oh, and great. Thank you, Sharon, there. Um, if you're in a co-op program, you'll be getting an email directly from the co-op team this week to outline your options. So that's fantastic. Awesome. Um, yeah. So um, I don't know. And if anybody has any other questions, please keep posting them away. Um, can you tell us more about um, just what, what can somebody expect from uh, attending Georgian? Oh my goodness. That's well, kind, kind of a big expect. question. <laughs> yeah, totally. that's, that's a great question. Uh, I love Georgian. I'm a graduate of Georgian myself. Um, I liked it so much that after I graduated, I just refused to leave. And so I'm 12 years in as an employee helping students come to Georgian now. Uh, it's all about the Georgian experience. It's, um, I mean, realistically, you can take a lot of the same kind of pro programming just about anywhere, but it's different here. Um, people care. We really do work hard to help our students to uh, get connected to what it is that they want to do. Uh, we work really hard for graduate employment. We boast the third highest graduate employment rate of any college in Ontario, which we're very proud of. Uh, we are the top co-op college in Ontario with over 6,200 employer partners. Um, work experience is what we're about, and that's what attracted me to come to Georgian. Uh, I had done an undergraduate in, in a university prior and found it kind of hard to find work because I had no experience on my resume, and, and uh, I, I got connected with Georgian, who offered me a chance to get some I think we had a little bit of uh, technical issues there. We'll try and get Kelly back on here. Um, I'm seeing some other questions come in too, as well about uh, Duolingo. Lingo. Um, that is actually uh, accepted temporarily right now um, for the next couple semesters. Um, and uh, as to just asking about English language scores, um, Actually, on our website, we ha do have an international page. Uh, I can show you where to go for that. If you just go to our website, georgiancollege.ca, and go over to international students. If you click on there, um, there's tons of information just for international students, um, as including under admissions, you can go down to English language. And this handy dandy chart breaks down all the tests um, and the scores you'll need by what, what, what kind of program, diploma or, or otherwise. So that's really helpful. So you can check that out there. I'm back. I think I got kicked out there. By accident. I, I, <laughs> I can't leave. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Technical issues. Know. Well, you know, it's our first kick in the can, right? So, so far, <laughs> there, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's a new reality. So it's, it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was I was talking about the Georgian experience. Maybe I'll be a little bit more succinct this time because <laughs> I don't want to get kicked out. <laughs> uh, it, in yeah. short, it's it's about the experience of what you feel when you're on campus and and the passion that our instructors bring to the classrooms. Um, how we really do help, you know, accelerate the success of our graduates. We're we're doing what we can every day to help our graduates to be what they want to be out there and help them to find the success that they're looking for. And, and that's what keeps me going at Georgian college. That's for sure. Yeah. Great. Um, and we're getting a few uh, questions that I just wanted to address about um, lockers and the gym. Everybody is getting antsy at home probably. It needs a little get pumped up or something. Um, <laughs> so we, we can't open the gyms at this time to retrieve any belongings. Um, so uh, sorry about that, uh, but we will for sure get back to you as soon as we can if there are any updates on that. Um, again, we'll be posting all of those updates uh, to our COVID-19 page on georgiancollege.ca. Um, and uh, we'll just have to see how things go over the summer just to see um, if we can allow more people back or more allow people back in. Um, all right. So we're filtering through 
thank you for all your questions, everybody. This is fantastic. It's wonderful co to connect with uh, everybody. Um, I'll also mention as well, uh, you know, people are talking about fitness and they want to get back into the gym and all this kind of stuff, which is fantastic. We have great facilities. Um, but uh, our uh, if you head over to at Georgian Grizz uh, and um, Georgian Grizzly, um, Georgian College Fitness, um, they are also on Instagram. They are also doing daily videos and fitness challenges. Um, and our, our athletic staff is also putting out other videos um, on YouTube um, that are lots of fun, finding things around their homes. I should uh, be out. <laughs> what's that? I should be checking those out. <laughs> But yeah, they're they're pretty interesting. If if anything, you'll get an ab workout from laughing because they're they're pretty they're pretty fun. Um, okay, great. So um, yeah, so I guess we can get back to some other some other questions. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, so, um, I guess, uh. uh where would be, I don't know if you would be able to walk us through some um, great places on the website, for instance, to, to check out other than the student recruitment phone, phone calls area. Like if, if there's are spots that um, under, you know, where to find your academics and places that you have been pointing people to. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, first thing, my, my favorite tool on the website is the, the magnifying glass search icon where you can type <laughs> in anything you want and, and find it pretty fast. Um, but our, our web team's worked really hard to organize things in a really, oh, yeah, if you can keep that up, I can just kind of talk it through there. So uh, right at the top of the page, uh, the, that's the magnifying glass. And if you type on that, then you can literally type in just about anything that you want at Georgian and it'll come up with some search uh, results. But if you can see, um, where it says ac academics, admissions, finance and fees, those are tabs. And if you hover over them, then you're gonna see a box drop that has different headings. So as I was saying a little bit earlier, for those that joined us a little bit late, you can search either by, go back just quickly to academics if you would. If you don't know what you wanna take, but you know you like health, then you can quickly see by academic area, everything we have at any campus under health and wellness. And if you, if you click on that one, Jenny, it's uh, we actually organize it according if you're like, you know, I only want a one year program or, you know, I really want a degree. What are my options? If you scroll down, then you can see that we've actually broken it down according to how long the programs are as well. So uh, a certificate in college means that it's one year in length. A diploma means two years. Advanced diploma is three years and a degree is four. And yes, colleges do offer degrees. Academically, they're very similar to university. You still need to sit, have your six U-level credits for admission, um, but they're built like a college program, which means they're really specific and career-driven, which is really, really cool. Uh, and we also have graduate certificates. If you're out there like, like me and you're like, oh, I just finished university and now what do I do? This is additional and higher learning that's gonna hone your skills to, again, take you from where you are to where you wanna be. So um, those would be great places to search. Now that's searching by academic area. If you want, you can also search by, um, uh, by uh, campus. You can search just kind of generally. So that's, that's academics. And again, bearing in mind that we do have seven campuses and we have 130 some odd programs. So there's lots to see there. And that's just the full-time programming. There's also all kinds of choices and options in, in part-time options too. So if you go over to the next tab to admissions, then you can see that there's information about learning how to apply, how to accept your offer, um, how to confirm your seat if that's where you are. And uh, you know, if, if, if that's something that you're interested in doing and you're still kind of feeling unsure about it, give us a call and we can walk you through how to do those things. Um, and information for international admissions. I know we'll get a lot of questions about those. Those are over there on the, on the right-hand side of the screen there, Jenny. And a big one that we're getting a lot of questions are about our finances and fees. And so that's one thing that we definitely want to make sure that people are aware. Georgian has uh, awards and scholarships and bursaries that are available. And if, if finances and fees are something that you're interested in, this is definitely something that you want to check out. Um, just kind of to tell you a little generally about what they are as far as definitions. Awards can be very diverse as far as how you can qualify for them. Um, perhaps you've got a family member in a particular organization like the Legion or a trade union or something. You may qualify for an award based on their membership. 
scholarships very often are distributed based on some kind of academic achievements or perhaps athletic achievements and, and bursaries by definition are for folks who demonstrate financial need, which is almost every student going to school. So um, you don't have to have top marks to apply. Uh, these are some great myths and, and uh, myths and rumors about awards. Uh, my 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 go to is always the worst thing they can do is say no. So take a look. I think we've got somewhere in the in the vicinity of uh, 950 some odd awards and scholarships available to Georgian students. And, and you know what, not all of them get applied to every year. And that's kind of sad. So if you think that you might qualify and you think that you might want to do some research about that. There's great information where you can learn about how to apply to Georgian specific awards, that tab that you just, uh, you have there, Jenny. Uh, external awards, the tab that's next to that one. Um, this is, sorry, yeah, I guess to stay on the Georgian specific ones for minutes, uh, that, that will tell you everything you need to know about Georgian specific awards. And, and uh, if you have more questions, there's contact information there. The external awards just next to that, this is a fun one as well. We do some research to find out what might be not specific to Georgian, but might be of interest to people that are coming here. So I know for people in my region, uh, there's an award that is offered by Bruce Power that uh, I think the qualifier for that is that you have to be going to post-secondary and living in Bruce County, which is pretty diverse and pretty broad. So if that's something that you're into, then check that out. Um, FAQs are on there, contact information. And uh, uh, the other thing I want to say is, friends, this is free money. It, it might take you a little bit of time to do some research and make that application, but this is money that you don't have to pay back. So free money is always a good thing from where I come from. So make sure you take some time and take a look through this and see what you might qualify for. And again, the worst thing they can do is say no, right? That would be a huge one. That uh, we get questions about, uh, you know, what am I going to do to be able to pay for school? And Another one, of course, is the OSAP uh, website. That's not a Georgian specific one, but if OSAP is something that you're interested in, then I recommend going to, I think the website is ontario.ca backslash OSAP. And it used to be a really complicated process to apply to OSAP, but they have streamlined it so much more than when I was in school. Um, it's gonna take you a few minutes again to fill out some specifics, but there's an aid estimator on the website as well, where you can punch in some basic details and. It's going to fire you back with a number of what they think they might be able to give you if you filled out the full application in total. So uh, make sure you explore those options and uh, and see what else is available too. Great. And um, we get students uh, applying from all over the world. Um, where should they go if if they're an international student, for instance, who wants more info? Yeah, um, I would definitely go, I, first of all, I would fire off an email to the International Center and get connected with the right people. But I think there's a tab on there as well for international students. But if, you, if you're just like, you know what, I'm not sure who to direct it to. Every single department at Georgian and every single staff member at Georgian has all the same last part of their email address. So if you want to email us at recruitment, you simply type recruitment at georgiancollege.ca. If you want to email international, it's international at georgiancollege.ca. And uh, what that'll do is it'll get into a general inbox and be triaged to the right person to talk to. So, uh, and the tab on there, I don't know whether you can show that on your computer again, Jenny, but uh, that would be uh, for international okay. students. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And I'm just going to flip this around as well. So we've got the two, sorry about that. So these would be the two kind of main emails then for um, student recruitment at Georgian. And then uh, just off our website, georgiancollege.ca, there's the international students uh, tab, and that's where you can get um, more information about the international student experience. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and what about, uh, we've, I mean, uh, we are, we touched on, sorry, we touched on September intake a bit uh, already, but we are getting some questions about, you know, what programs are available or should they still be applying or things like that? What would you say to, to that? Definitely. I mean, as, as if anybody joined a bit later, all, we're, we're hoping that, that this thing will be resolved to the point that we can all get back in the classroom and get back to, to and whatever this new normal is going to be when the pandemic has completed. But absolutely. Um, yeah, call us. Give us uh, give us a chance to uh, help you through that application, answer some questions. But uh, ideally, we're looking at having a, a regular 
September intake if if things continue as the as they're hoping to with flattening the curve and and all those types of things. Yeah, great. Um, well, time has flown and it is already one thirty. So uh, thank you so much, Kaylee, for answering all these questions. And thank you to everybody who uh, joined us today for taking the time to connect with us. Um, it was fantastic to get all of your questions and to teach you um, a little bit more about Georgian. Um, and we hope to see you soon. Um, so again, I'll just show you the, the website. Great place to start uh, to check out some information. If you'd like to connect with the student recruitment team, Again, the best thing to do right up at the top, talk with a recruiter and that will take you to our phone appointments page where you can get more information about our team and even book an appointment right there. Um, as well, if you'd like to reach out, um, these are the main emails, the recruitment at georgiancollege.ca for uh, domestic students and uh, the second one there for international students. Um, yeah, so thank you so much again to everybody and, and uh, we hope that you're all at home and staying safe and healthy and uh, we hope you take care. Wash your hands, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Sing happy birthday. <laughs> Bye, Thanks. everybody. Bye, everyone.